If we had a functioning mainstream media, if we had reporters challenging politicians irrespective of party, we as a people would likely make the better choice on November 8th, even accepting the premise that it's a choice of the lesser of two evils. The New York Times published a portion of one of Donald Trump's tax returns from the middle 1990s. Doing so without Trump's permission is, in all likelihood, a felony, but we'll overlook that for now. The return showed that Trump booked a $900 million plus loss for that tax year. The Times then wrote that Trump could have avoided paying income taxes for 18 years thereafter. Could have. They didn't say he did because they don't know. But let's assume he did. I mean, wouldn't you? That tax loss carry forwards are a part of thousands or tens of thousands or maybe even millions of tax returns every year is not mentioned by the Times. That the Times itself recently did the same thing, albeit on a smaller scale, is also not mentioned. The Times weighed up the possibility of facing criminal or civil prosecution against the certain payoff of hurting Donald Trump and decided that the risk was worth it. So much for objective journalism. So much for being worthy of being the only business enterprise specifically protected by the U.S. Constitution. Donald Trump's vulnerabilities are fair game, but so are Hillary Clinton's. If we had a functioning fourth estate, which we do not, the American people would be better able to choose the next president. That the fourth estate is trying to choose for us tells us that the republic is in serious trouble. That's my word. What's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.